Dear viewer, with last week having been a tutorial, it has been two weeks since you received your news update from Dash Detailed, and I intend to catch you up on everything that you need to know. The past two weeks have been an absolute boon of businesses adding Dash. In fact, I have eight to tell you about, and four of them are exchanges. So to start in the business category, let me tell you about bitcart.io, who is launching their Dash integration in mere hours from right now. Bitcart is an Ireland-based Amazon gift card reseller who routinely offers 15 to 20% off discounts for Amazon gift cards with Bitcoin. And today, Dash becomes their third added cryptocurrency after Ethereum. So to learn more about what it is that they do, I reached out to their founder, Graham Debarra. So essentially, when someone comes with their, Bit with their Dash and they go onto Bitcart and they make an order, they can make an order anywhere between $50 to $1,000 in the denominations of usually $50. Um, they then send the dash and within 24 hours, they receive their Amazon gift card. We can always guarantee between 15 to 20% of a discount for consumers. We verify that the gift card is authentic because there's a lot of uh, risk of fraud and fraud management. And so we take on uh, that risk and, and the management um, for that risk as well. We've been looking at Dash for about 16 to 20 months. Um, and so this move was just natural. It, it really, really was. And I think that's going to bring a lot of new customers and a lot more scalability to our business. And we're very excited to have Dash on board. The next business was submitted to me by a viewer, thank you, that a airport parking company aptly called Airport Parking accepts Dash as well as other cryptocurrencies for parking at the U.S. cities of Boston, Los Angeles, Newark, Providence, New York, and Denver. Third is the photography service of a Dash community member you may well know, Dave Basil. You can find his work and the Dash acceptance option at davebasil.com. And fourthly is Lacey Cloud, which is a brand new uh, open source and FTP based cloud storage company. And they're currently in private beta, but you can request access to get started if you are interested. Now moving into the exchange portion of our new businesses accepting Dash. Dash has been added to Crypto Buyer. Now, Crypto Buyer is based in Venezuela and is now selling Dash for both debit and credit card purchases, as well as accepting it for things like mobile phone top ups. And as you may know, the national currency in Venezuela is doing what some might call poorly. To learn more about how Dash may be of use to customers in the area, I reached out to Jorge Farias, who is the CEO and founder of Crypto Buyer. He says, the situation with the Bolivar has only worsened. This week, we've reached the highest point of devaluation of the currency, with the official exchange rate being 10 Bolivars per US dollar, but the black market reached 5,000 Bolivars per US dollar. This gives you an idea of the lifeguards that are represented by the digital coins, Bitcoin and Dash, not only as a method to transfer value, but to safeguard savings. Jorge also reports that he believes that they are the first platform in Latin America to add a second cryptocurrency after Bitcoin to their service offerings, and that Dash was the most requested by their users. In an effort to bolster Dash's use as a remittance tool on their platform, the company released a new video. Here's a short clip. Mi nombre es Gladys, soy venezolana y desde algún tiempo resido en Panamá. Hoy voy a enviarle dinero a mi papá a través de un sistema de transferencias llamado Dash. Listo, papá, ya te deposité. Excelente, hija. Acabo de recibir los dos Dashes. Ahora los voy a cambiar en bolívares a través de Crypto Buyer. And after Crypto Buyer, there were three more exchanges to add Dash these past two weeks. First is Tokyo based CoinCheck. Second is London based Space BTC. And the third is located in Thailand called BX.in. 
Perhaps a fitting way to wrap up this longest ever business and headline section of Dash Detailed would be to cite an article found on entrepreneur.com this past week by Matthew Torin, who said, think of Dash as a replacement for PayPal. Moving on to network statistics. Today's masternode count is 4,417. If you'll look at that on this lifetime chart, you will see that that is the highest it's been since we made the switch to 12.1. And it's quite very near uh, the all time high that was reached just prior to the switch. In mining, today's hash rate is 3.35 terahashes per second. And this also is a all time high, which was actually first reached in the middle of March. You can see that on our three month hash rate chart here, our one year hash rate chart, and here's the lifetime. And finally, in network statistics, allow me to remind you that the deadline for both submitting a new proposal to the network, as well as voting upon it, is in five days from today, on or around Monday, May the 1st. Now moving to development updates. 12.1.5 has been released, and it's not a mandatory update, but rather is of course suggested, as they always are, and it fixed only uh, minor bugs, the primary one being that there were rare spikes of the status of what's called watchdog expired on some masternodes, which basically meant that the masternode owner thought that they had to restart their masternode when they didn't. And that is the bug that was fixed in 12.1.5. And as you'll see in this pie chart, uh, about 82% of the masternode network has indeed updated. Next in development updates, the Dash integration into CryptoWoo is complete. And our plugin is even featured in the CryptoWoo store. In case you don't know what this plugin does, uh, it allows a merchant to basically place a pay with Dash here onto their website and the payments then go directly to the merchant's own hierarchical deterministic wallet. You don't need to know what that means. All you need to know is that you can get one. CryptoWoo then is available for any website which uses WordPress and has installed the WooCommerce plugin. Elsewhere in development updates, the Dash Core team uh, published an update about a sort of reassignment of titles within their particular organization. Uh, big news there is that Ryan Taylor is now CEO. Uh, Evan Duffield is senior advisor and Andy Freer is CTO. Next, the treasury funded effort from 10X, uh, the Singapore based company 10X has launched their Dash debit card. And at this time, it, it, it only works in Singapore, but it does work and it looks lovely. And in other development updates, there's not one, but two handy dandy web conversion tools uh, for anyone who is looking to convert a Dash to US dollar or US dollar to Dash uh, on the fly. And actually uh, British pounds and euros are also supported on at least one of these sites, but one is CoinRates, or I guess if I were to spell out the URL, it would be coinrat.es. And the other is dash.price.exchange. And finally, some new guides have been released. Uh, one is that is the creation of a Dash paper wallet. How do I create a Dash paper wallet for cold storage? And the other is both launching um, a, a Dash supporting hardware wallet, as well as if you hold a master node within a hardware wallet like a Trezor, how to withdraw uh, rewards that you have earned without having to unlock your master nodes thousand Dash. Moving to price, today's Dash to US dollar rate is roughly $72, $72 .19 to be exact. Uh, our trade volume for the last 24 hours is $8.7 million worth of Dash. The coin supply as of today is just under 7.3 million coins, 7.3 million Dash. And our market cap then is roughly 524 million US dollars. Let's look at our three month market cap chart then. Our one year and our lifetime. Our available funds from our treasury this month then are worth roughly $521,000. 
of which 208,000 have been allocated thus far, uh, with the payout, the super block, happening in eight days, on or around Thursday, May the 4th. And finally, let's go ahead and just combine social happenings and current opportunities. Why? Because it all has to do with Dash Force. A lot of things have happened with the Treasury-funded effort Dash Force over the past couple of weeks. First was that they launched their own news site uh, found at dashforcenews.com, where they've been publishing at least one, often more pieces uh, every day. Uh, of, of special interest was a profile piece that was done on uh, the MMA Brazilian fighter Davis dos Santos, uh, whose next Dash-sponsored fight is set to take place on June the 16th. And as far as opportunities, there are not one, not two, but three contests, Dash Force contests going on at this time, uh, which anyone can enter to earn Dash, potentially. The first is called the MVP contest, and this will pay out $100 worth of Dash to five people who have made the most valuable and frequent contributions on sites like BTC Talk, the Dash Forum, the Dash Pay subreddit, uh, the Dash Nation Slack, etc. The second contest is a video contest where the topic of a video that you would upload to YouTube, should you want to enter, is why I believe Dash is the best cryptocurrency. First prize is one Dash, second prize is 0.75 Dash, and third prize is half Dash. And then the third contest is for uh, a meetup and or a presentation, something that you yourself would put on in the city or village or field where you live. And as long as five or more people attend and you've met various parameters as outlined in this post, uh, you can win two or more dash to reimburse you for your efforts. Details about these contests are listed in the links in the description section below, as with all of today's show links. And that's it for Dash Detailed today. Before I let you go, may I please remind you that it may not be apparent to every new Dash user that, for example, our privacy offering, uh, Private Send, is at this time only available from the Dash Core wallet. Uh, they may think if they just use, you know, any sort of mobile wallet that all of their transactions are private. And just to make sure there aren't any misunderstandings, I would encourage you anytime you show Dash to a new person to mention to them that why, yes, we do offer privacy. However, uh, at this time, it's only available in this particular wallet to make sure there are no uh, unmet expectations. All right, and that is it. Come back this Friday for a spotlight interview with Martin Wismeyer of the company General Bytes, which is the competitively priced Dash and Fiat ATM. See you then.